Oh fam, oh fam, oh fam. Close the door. We got something big for today. We got something really, really exciting. Right there. Before I go into the details as to what I'm doing and why there's a tire in the back of the truck that measures to be a 35 by 1250, and I do not have a set of rims here with them. We're gonna be doing something today that we wouldn't normally do on one of our trucks, and I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. This is gonna be pretty freaking fun. We've got all the tires loaded up, so now you're probably wondering what on earth is the plan. Before I tell you what the plan is, we gotta go in here and open up the garage door for my wife so that she can get her truck out today. What is up Loud and Proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous today. I've got a Loud and Proud lanyard on, a Loud and Proud t-shirt, I've got the platinum key, and a new Loud and Proud diesel trucks leather patch hat t-shirt and all this other stuff however should be up there by the time you see the video. We got something fun planned for the platy today. It's something that we don't normally do. I think it's gonna look really good and I'm gonna tell you exactly why I'm doing it in a bit. But before I get into the video much further, I just wanna let you know that every $5 you spend on lnpgear.com, whether you're buying a lanyard, you're buying a t-shirt, a hat, whatever the case is, every $5 spent on our gear gets you one entry automatically with your order information placed to enter to win this truck. It's a 2019 Ram 3500 limited edition. If you guys wanna go check out more on the website, I'll let you guys go do that, but let's get right into the content. So we're already kind of on a trend of things that we wouldn't normally do on this channel, and that is, well, A, we bought a Ford, which isn't something that uh, we do often. We did own the OBS Ford for a little bit there, but that was like a strictly giveaway truck when we picked it up. That was the intention the whole time. We're getting ready to do another thing we wouldn't ordinarily do, but I think it's gonna top off kind of like the experience of owning this truck. And I think it's gonna be a pretty cool little thing that I think a lot of you guys can relate to and will probably really like. It's gonna be a different setup that we haven't done in a long time that I think a lot of people are gonna like. So we're gonna get over to the shop right now. We're gonna drop this thing off. We're gonna get the 35 by 1250s put on this thing with the factory suspension on the factory wheels. And I think it's gonna look really sick. Stay tuned for the vlog. So we're gonna get the truck started up and then something else that's really cool about this truck, the Ram does also have an outlet like this, just like a 112 volt outlet, but this one's right up here by me. So I can take my camera battery when I'm not filming, just set my camera here in the tray, which is perfect size for my camera, drop the battery in there. And then by the time I get to my next point where I'm gonna film again, I have a nice charged up battery to film my video. forgot how much those old trucks smoked at idle. Holy crap. Holy moly. Okie dokie. Well, we are on our way to the tire shop now we just happen to live right by like a discount tire so if I just have like easy stuff that I just went like swapped around they do it real quick so I want to talk about the video I posted uh, two days ago so I posted that video comparing the limited to the platinum and I think too many people took it very very serious as like me being like don't buy a Ford Ford sucks I'm all about my limited my limited is better than platinum that's not what I made it for I made it because I'm like okay well I have both the trucks now and I had people asking me in the comments and in a direct message like, hey, you know, I'm curious. How much more do you like one or the other over the other for what reasons and what things stand out to you and just what's your take on it? So I'm like, okay, well, just between the Platinum and the Limited that I have here, 
I guess I'll compare them. So many people were like, oh my gosh, you need to compare a Limited to a Limited or compare a Laramie to the Platinum because that's the equivalent trim level when it clearly is not. Like there's Laramie and Lariat, there's King Ranch and Longhorn, there's Limited and Limited, and then like Limited and Platinum. They're very similar. The only difference is the two-tone interior on the seats on the Ford Limiteds. The XLTs and the Tradesmans, they all have basically an equivalent in the competition. So in terms of that, it really wasn't about being like these trucks are identical and they're the exact same like equivalent back and forth and this is this one's better than the other it was just between the two trucks that i had in front of me what was my preference and why and i shared my preference but clearly to the ford people that thought it was unfair i really liked the truck or i would not have spent the money that i spent to buy this truck so you gotta think about it that way too it's like okay i was just comparing it between those two clearly i liked the truck a ton or I wouldn't have went out and bought it. Davis Auto is like a family owned, um, family feel shop. That is like where we have taken our stuff forever. And I kind of forgot why we always just take our stuff there because any other shop, unless it's like the easiest factory, like simple things, they just complain about everything. And they're just like, oh, well, it's, it's, it might rub a little. We're kind of scared. We don't want to be responsible. Oh, well, we can't do this. We can't do that. I'm like, you know what? You just reminded me exactly why I always stick to this family-owned shop that I usually have always gone to because I'm like this is just ridiculous I want the tires put on the truck I don't care if you make me sign a waiver saying that if anything happens it's my responsibility like I could care less I do tires and stuff every month I just want these tires put on my wheels oh we can't do them they're not OEM size I'm like dude I know they're not OEM size do you think I look that stupid to where I'd order a 35 inch mud tire with aggressive tread and go hmm these are the OEM tire no like I know they're not OEM so I called this other shop I said hey I want these put on no problem, drop it off. No excuses, no reasons as to why they won't help me. Just, we'll take care of it, drop it off, we're good. Perfect. Get Reagan putting her stocks on, her fourth gen stocks on the second gen. And then, we got Nasty Red here. Nasty Red needs some stuff done, like mirrors, grill, a um, whole bunch of stuff. But look at this, so a newfound cool thing we can do with Nasty Red. Dad took this out the other day to get firewood and you could stack the wood on the flatbed and actually just ratchet it down with a strap over the top like this. This actually works like a really, it's a really good idea. I mean, you can put a lot of firewood on there. If you guys want to see what she's doing with her truck, why she's doing this, go to her channel. It's Rosine 24V. Little Rosine here, Reagan, you know, tried to do a burnout. I think it went decent. Tried. She thinks it went decent. She didn't, she can't tell. She was, she was in the truck driving. But anyways, if you want to check it out, like I said, it's on her channel. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the platy picked up today. The only reason for that is the shop said that it could be tomorrow when it's done. Not that it takes that long, but since it was kind of like a short notice, hey, can you do my truck? Sure, just drop it off, but it could be till tomorrow morning before it's done. You know, whatever. It wasn't really an appointment where that they had available for me. So anyways, we're going to drive by, at least see if my truck's in there or not. If it's in the shop, that means it's probably going to be out tonight. But if it's not in the shop, that means it probably won't be out tonight yet. Still sitting out there, hadn't been touched. So it looks like it'll probably be done in the morning. So we'll catch you back then. It is the next day. We are now headed back to the shop to pick up the F-250 Platinum. And hopefully it looks just as good as I think it will. And we got the Platy back. I gotta tell you guys, this setup actually looks super freaking cool on this truck and i think you guys are going to really like it now keep in mind this is a temporary setup it's not staying forever in fact it's probably only going to be here no more than three weeks but it's a pretty cool temporary look for the truck it's awesome with the 35 by 1250 federal mud trains on the truck and like I said this is a temporary setup for probably two three maybe four weeks in terms of how long these stay on here 
that's kind of uncertain but I thought you know what I want to go with something aggressive on stocks and just see what people like because you know there's some people that they like looking at cool giant jacked up lifter trucks but in reality all they want is a mud train on stocks because you know they only need a mud train once in a while if they're like you know you're a deer hunter farmer you know whatever you go off-roading camping stuff like that and you just go off-road a little bit here and there but not it's like a constant thing you don't need 37s 38s 40s you know what i'm saying it's just not necessary this is a really cool aggressive setup and to be honest you could probably get pretty dang far with this setup and for like a daily use but you're the guy that goes hunting on the weekends and doesn't want to get stuck climbing up the side of a hill to get to his favorite hunting spot this would actually probably be a super reliable and killer setup and I really like it. It gives it just a little bit of tire poke in the front. It makes it sit flush with the fenders in the rear. They're 1250 wide on a stock, probably a 20 by nine wheel. I'm not certain on that could be 20 by 10, but I'm guessing it's more like a 20 by eight or 20 by nine. It looks really good. I mean, it's a factory wheel setup. It's pretty killer. They do not rub at all. There's no rubbing. In fact, I almost bet you I could have gotten away with a 37 on this exact setup and it probably would have cleared maybe a slight slight rub on like a full lock but I, I kind of doubt it let me show you how much clearance you get with this so over here I'm going to show you first obviously if you look in the front plenty of room in the back tons of room I mean you can put your entire hand here there's plenty of room there um, and let's do I already tested this but I'll just show you on video let's do a full turn right that's a full turn all the way around it didn't touch anything. In fact, there's still about a two finger gap there, two or three finger gap there between there and there. And it just clears totally fine. Let's go back a, a little bit, see where it gets close. You start to bring the tire back and still, I mean, tons of space. Um, and in terms of the bumper, let's go to the other side and show you where it sits on the bumper. In terms of in front of the tire, tons of space. Again, three or four finger space gap um, between there. I mean, just super killer. Lots of room, plenty of room to play with. I mean, it's awesome. Here's the front view. You can kind of see it, tire just kind of sticks out a little bit when you're looking down the side. In the front and in the rear, they sit flush with the fenders down there. I mean, it's a, <laughs> it's a pretty aggressive setup I'm, I'm like quite impressed I mean this thing looks really it looks really good hopefully you like the new setup on the truck now um, here's another thing I wanted to talk about with you guys real quick and then I'm gonna close out this video but I wanted to go back to doing some old-school 12 valve content to be more specific I'm looking for a five-speed manual regular cab long bed four-wheel drive 12 valve Cummins that's what I want and I want to try to do something that is a little bit different than what we've seen on here before. Take the old school 12 valve content and bring it to the channel with the new means of being able to actually build a truck. So basically I wanna do something that's cool, custom. I talked about, you know, getting between the Ford or an old school 12 valve, you know, whatever. A lot of people said 12 valve, a lot of people said Ford. I said, you know what? There's tons of people that said they wanted the Ford more than the 12 valve. Let's go with the new Ford. However, I'm not necessarily saying that we're, we can't do a 12 valve. So I'm kind of thinking I want to buy a 12 valve as well. Kind of bring a 12 valve to the channel set while we're building this truck, which we are going to be doing a lot of cool stuff to it. You can also, and you're going to have to stay tuned to my next video to tell you some of the things that we can't do to the truck any longer. In terms of a 12 valve, I want to go with something like that. So if you happen to know anybody out there that has one, a regular cab, long bed, 12 valve Cummins, five speed manual, four wheel drive. I want it to have less than 200,000 miles on it. Anyways, hit me up on Instagram in my direct messages or comment down below and tell me what your Instagram is so I can get a hold of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to enter to win my 2019 Ram 3500 limited edition. The truck has only 3000 miles on it. Brand new tires, brand new wheels. The thing is, of course, gonna be still under warranty for a few years. You can keep the truck, sell the truck, trade the truck whatever you want to do it is yours to do with as you please maybe you want to get a ford like this sell the truck buy one that is totally up to you thank you so much for all the love and support you guys are killer every five dollars one entry to win get in while you can thank you so much peace let's go let's go